Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to this month's roundup of stories from across the Trust. Hopefully you've noticed and enjoyed the new take on my weekly roundup this month. It allows us to take a more focused look at our people, patients, partners, and our place within Bradford District and Craven. And this week, we're going to take a look back at the stories we've shared this month. We started the month with one of our fantastic people, Jeanne Pablasian, or JP as she's better known, matron for digestive diseases. She told us about her career and what nursing means to her. My name's JP. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I've nursed for nearly 28 years and I just love caring for people. People think that matron usually sits behind a desk, but no, actually, I still work in clinical areas. I was born in the Philippines to a small family of three siblings. Being a nurse is not a glamorous job. You have to be dedicated, you have to have it in your soul. Nursing people to be caring, to be passionate. It's about rising up to the challenge, it's being flexible, it's just having that passion. We had a busy day yesterday, but thank you. I don't think of my title as a matron. I think of myself as a nurse who cares for patients, not just patients, but also colleagues. Thank you for sharing your stories, Jan, and for everything that you do here in our hospitals. Now, Terry Summers is one of the many patients we supported during the COVID pandemic. He has a remarkable story to tell and is full of gratitude for the work of our amazing colleagues here at the Trust. Apparently, I've said to the wife, I said, I'm going to hospital, I don't feel right well. My son took me up in his car, which I don't remember, and then the next thing I know, boss lady is telling me that I've been in a coma for nearly five weeks, and it will touch and go. Within 24, 48 hours or so, you needed more intensive support, mm -hmm. and you were transferred to the intensive care unit. When Terry was in ICU, that's horrendous. This call you don't want to hear. <laughs> Watch where you're going. I had no idea I'd been in a, a coma or anything. The road to recovery wasn't easy. It is a long road to recovery. Absolutely brilliant for all stuff. And for that, I'm entirely grateful. We send our very best wishes to you, Terry, and your family as you continue your recovery. It's important to make sure that we can get you into hospital for treatment when you need it. But it's equally vital that we can plan with you to get you home safely when you no longer need hospital care. Here's Paul Pinder, lead for Complex Discharge, to tell us more about the multi-agency integrated discharge team. Our aim is to keep patient flow going. So we are identifying patients who can be discharged as soon as possible. It's been allocated to Heather. The trusted assessors within our team um, work with the discharge coordinators so we start to assess people before they are deemed medically optimised to leave hospital so that they can identify care packages or assessment beds that are needed. Tell me how did you function at home prior to coming into the hospital? I had no problem. I used to go out, I walked to church. For me, it's been a real privilege so far working with this team. Are you ready, ladies? They've got such a can-do attitude. For me, it's just a massive, massive thank you to the team and for the dedicated hard work that they do. Thanks, Paul, and everyone in the MAID team. That's it for this month's update, but we'd love to know what you think of our new format. We've got lots more stories to share in coming weeks, including the launch of a new podcast series. Don't forget... All our latest news and updates can be found on our social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Music